Hi guys, welcome back to another random video. <laughs> and this week, I am gonna explore some Zillow houses and explain a little bit why I moved to North Carolina from California. First of all, the screen that you can see up is the, I Googled, or yeah, I Googled, this is Google, uh, what the average age for a first time home buyer is, and that's 33. Well, I'm hoping to be younger than that. Currently 26 with a baby, I'm hoping we can get one before we're 30, but we'll see. And that's just a fun fact I wanted to throw in there. And the reason why I want to throw that in there is because the average price of a starter home in the U.S., at least according to 2019, was 215k at 33 years old. Which honestly, that's not that bad. Pretty doable. And I like to think by 33, we should be able to do that with one income in North Carolina. Um, we could do it now if I went back to work, but then that would mean putting my baby in daycare and there's nothing I really trust out here. Like if we had family members out here or friends that I trusted to babysit, that'd be different. But daycare, especially with her being this little, I'm a little iffy on. And why would I want to honestly go back? <laughs> I was doing customer service and I was not really fond of it. And yeah, but I mean, if I have to, obviously I will. That's that's totally besides the point, but we're fine with just the one income, even though we can't buy a house just quite yet. That's just because of debt that we have, stupid like student loans and car loans, whatever. And because my husband has a part-time job and they don't take part-time income into account unless you've been working at the part-time job for two years. So if you're thinking, oh, I'm gonna use my part-time job to apply for a loan with someone, just realize you have to have been working it for two years before they take it into account. So. Yeah, that's kind of where we are. But the reason why I'm bringing this up is because uh, we were looking at buying a house before we moved out here in to, uh, that was in whew, 2018, I think. Yeah, in 2018. But let me let me just show you. This is the biggest reason why we moved, okay? We wanted to be, be able to buy a house by ourselves. Mostly, maybe have help with the down payment from family. Maybe. But the reason why we moved is, <laughs> I'm on Zillow, obviously. This is where we used to live in California. This is like north of San Diego. If I zoom out, you can see San Diego's down here and then up here is LA area. Jesus, I forgot how large this, I, God, I hate it. Anyways, so like we were up here in this kind of suburban area and 215K, the top of the average homeowner budget is a god damn trailer park. And this is in San Marcos. It's next to the college that's there, so it's not a bad neighborhood. But, like, this isn't even a nice... What is this? What it? I don't mind the blue, but why isn't everything blue? Oh, my God. This is just... Uh, oh, my lordy. This is what you could get for the average home, first time home buying price in America in the area we were in. And like, let me explain the area a little bit more. Should I? I should, yeah. Basically, we are up here in the suburban area. Down here, super rich. Up here, super rich. Somewhere in the middle, this whole area here in the middle of LA and San Diego, kind of cheap depending on where you are. Um, there's some really nice areas, obviously. There's quite a couple casinos out here, so it gets a little expensive. And then like Carlsbad over here is super expensive. So is Encinitas. Everything along the beach is usually, except for Oceanside, they're pretty, they're kind of ghetto. Um, but we were in Vista <laughs> and that got too expensive. So we rented in Escondido. We were in Escondido for a while before we moved to North Carolina. But like, it's not the best neighborhood. And like just looking around here, 120k three bedroom two bath what is this a trailer park hmm uh what is this 86k oh god another trailer park dear lord and these don't have a good resale value at all they're ridiculous there's like no there's not even any like houses i mean not houses i guess houses um why is this on this list i said 215 max so look at this house. This house is what you would think would be standard for like a second house, basically, when you have a couple kids. 623000 for the somewhat ghetto Escondido. <laughs> it's just not, that's just not doable in any stretch of the imagination. And built in 1989, so it's not even within this, this century. Century? Century, I think. It's ridiculous. And back in 2012, what was this? 306? Jesus, it's doubled. 
in less than in in less than 10 years. It's doubled. Oh my god. 2012 was the year to buy, man. <laughs> Jesus. This is ridiculous. Like and then if you go over to where we live now in North Carolina, like we live somewhere in here. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say where exactly. 215k. You get this pretty decent actually. It's a little small of a kitchen, but it's a starter house. It's really not that bad. And you have a giant ass yard too. And this is definitely, I can say definitely not a trailer park at all. Like it doesn't even say when it was built though. Does it say? I scroll up, no. Uh, 69. So it is a little older, but it is a single family home on a lot of land, which is not anything you could get in California. Another one, this one, contingent. So there's a little bit you gotta do for it, but damn, that looks nice. This is actually really pretty and well kept too with a shed too in the backyard oh my goodness 94 that's as old as me this house is as old as I am like this is the main reason <laughs> I can't believe that we ever lived in an area that was this expensive this as much as I love my memories aside from terrible family members and abuse whatever as much as I loved growing up in this area and the church I went to and the friends I had and the schools like I did all my schooling here I went to college here everything as much as I love those memories I am so glad we moved because oh this is ridiculous this whole like let me put it into perspective a bit more this whole freeway here the 78 it takes 30 minutes in good traffic to cross so in bad traffic it's more like an hour and a half give or take and so that's why we kind of lived everywhere in here go to school here, lived here, lived here, went to school here, went to school there. Just crazy. We would go everywhere basically within a day of driving. And then for my husband, he would work in San Diego. So we lived here and then he had to drive to San Diego, like downtown San Diego every day. This right here is a hour and a half drive nearly. So he spent three hours just about driving every day. It was, and he spent even longer working and then it was just terrible absolutely terrible and then over here if you count the 40 from this section to here that's like 25 minutes and there's hardly ever there's bad traffic obviously with normal like uh mm, what's it called what do they call it i don't know oh rush hour with rush hour and everything but if you don't drive it during rush hour you're totally fine 25 minutes to get to two major cities and everything else around here has like a quarter of the population as it does over here which is crazy because there's way better houses available and you'd think more people would realize that and move what see look at how nice this one looks aside from the red but like the outside looks pretty cute it's just crazy the difference in locations. And plus, like, oh, this is adorable with a blue door. And, like, the biggest thing that I liked about moving here was the type of houses. Aside from the price of the houses, too. Like, let's just get rid of this. Let's just let's just do any price. Um, and let's do bottom price, 300 plus. What's it called? But like the houses out here, they're way more cottagey. They're way more colonial. They're just cuter. And when you look out here, any price, dear Lord, there's a $26 million house in Carlsbad. I cannot, we're going to have to look at that. Holy crap. What is on the beach? But 26 million is a lot. Okay. That's not due. See like the highest price there is 26 million. Highest here is eight. And that's a lot of land. Here, 7.5 million is the highest price. Let's do let's do max 700k and see what that gives us. Max 700k. And just let's look at this crazy house first real quick. Holy crap, it looks insane. This is insane. Who what who needs this? Oh my lordy. I mean, I don't mind the partying aspect of it out in the deck and everything, but everything else is just a little too much. No, I'm not interested in touring this home. Please go away. Don't ask me questions. I'm not flying back to California for this. Ugh. Anyways, here, most expensive house. <laughs> that's not a lot of land. Seven million. So what? That's 20 million less. 
than what we just saw in, in California? 20 million less. Oh, come on. It was getting good. Oh, I actually kind of love that. I wouldn't want to live in it, but it feels like a museum, and I'm kind of digging it. That looks really cool. This looks like 20 times better than that Carlsbad house. I'm just digging the rustic aspect, and it's kind of more traditional, too, with some of the... That looks very nice. What? Is that like a little... It's like a little study area. That would be so cool to record in. Right off your bedroom. And then another workout space. And a, why is there an aquarium? Oh, it's a projector room. Because that projector can slide out. That's actually super smart. And then you can hide it too. And then, a, oh my god, this would be awesome to have a pool room. And a bar. And well, it's a wine room technically. I'm sorry if you hear rain. I don't think you will because of the music I'll add later. But you never know. And a pool inside. That's always a little much. But I do not mind the stonework quite nice and this is 20 million less than what you got in carl's <laughs> and look at that you did not get that lot of land i mean sure you had the beach but who cares about the beach if you're just gonna go swim in your own house this this is to die for i oh my god oh my god four car girl look at this oh uh, i'm so glad we moved <laughs> i don't think i'll ever buy a house like that but that house is gorgeous so let's look at the normal price range 700k and like you have brand new four bed four bath houses here for 700k look at that colonial this thing is insane how many things you could get obviously this would not be a first time home but like i'm talking like you you're a family of five or six and you need a big house and like this was because 615 was for that one house that was made in uh, 89 or whatever out in Escondido. And that was not even a good looking house. Let's be honest. And these are new constructions. Look at this. New construction. Brand new modern. There's no way you could get this for the same price out in California. It's insane. Like let's go look here. This is the best. These look, like, I don't like the Spanish look to most of the houses that are in California. They just don't look good. You're literally still getting townhouses for this price. Townhouses. That's just depressing. Look at this. Sure, this is a six bed, but, like, this is kind of sad and depressing. And it's in Escondido. It's not in the best area at all. And it doesn't even have a garage. Oh, my God. I just can't. Why did we, why did the prices have to get so damn inflated in this area? Like, this looks pretty nice. New construction, too. But, again, this is connected to other houses. It's still not on your own lot of land. And out here, you can get your own lot of land with your house. Like, at least an acre. Oh, gosh. I can't. Like I said, they're just prettier, too. Like, these are just meh. Meh. Like, look at that. You don't get stonework. And the reason why I don't get stonework for that, although they could do it now with fake stone, which they do for the richer houses, but um, California earthquakes, they have to be very up to code. And out here, not so much. Even though this is, I'm pretty sure, like stucco, fake on brick or whatever. But you can get away with it. And you can get away with building a full brick house out here. Like, some of these houses actually are brick houses. And you can do that. But you can't do that out here because then they're going to crumble when an earthquake actually hits, which is kind of insane when you think about it. This one looks kind of cute. Ugh. I take that back. This lattice is not the best looking. Why is this black? Like pitch black. Is that brand new asphalt? Possibly. And I hate, look at this floor. I hate this type of like, sorry to say it, but Spanish style tile. It's really not my favorite. The cabinets aren't that bad, but they're not my favorite again. Uh, what's up with this wainscoting? It looks like a trailer park with the lines that you see on the wall. They should have made it like actual. And look at how tiny this yard is. Like you saw the yards over here. They're like f insane. Look at this. What is this? This is beautiful, new. It is to have a neighbor, but like this is downtown, isn't it? Yeah, it's right off the freeway, downtown Durham. And so unbelievably modern. It's insane. Insane. Let's find another one that would be normal. <laughs> ish ish although i never want to buy a two-story house because i hate stairs <laughs> i'm a little whiner about that let's see like yeah this one even has a sun porch and an outdoor deck 
And look at how big this stuff is. Look at this separate shower and tub. Holy crap. A two walk-in closet. None of that was in that house we just saw in California. This carpet's a little gross, but hey. Hey, and a giant attic. Oh my god. I can't even. Why? Why is California so overhyped? I don't get it. But anyways, that's going to have to do it for this random house-looking episode. Although, this one looks kind of cool. Is it the whole building? I don't know. It might be the whole building. Strange. Very strange. But yeah, thanks for joining me down this rabbit hole of complaining about home prices and then just looking at some nice homes. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.